Hey dolls, it's Theodore here, and I'm gonna show you how to do this beautiful side swept wave. It's perfect for a weekend out with the girls or just looking fabulous at any time. To use a medium hold hairspray, and you don't want the hair to be wet, you just want a nice little amount of hold. Now just pull out a piece about an inch wide and taking a cone iron or any curling iron that you're just wrapping around the outside. She's got this beautiful natural wave patterns and then I'm just gonna bump that up. So what I'm gonna do is where it curves in, that's where I'm gonna pop my iron, lightly wrap it around and just leave the ends out so that it's not too done looking. And then you can just drop that out. And I pull it just to stretch it a little bit so it's not too done. And you can either start from one side and go this way, or I started in the center, it doesn't really matter. The thing that I love about clampless irons, I just find them really easy for people to use themselves. So now I'm just repeating that all the way around. And now when you move to the side, what I like to do is actually create a big zigzag. So what I do is I just walk my chopstick on the scalp, and then when I split it, it has a zigzag. Now the reason I do that is so that you don't see lines in the front of your hair. Otherwise you would end up with like railroad tracks. And what I like to do is just wrap this away from the face. Twist that around away from the face. Perfect. Now just let the whole thing cool for about 10 minutes just so that the shape really holds. Now it's cooled, it's got a nice little bounce and it's very important to run your fingers through the hair. This just breaks up the curl and just makes it look soft and effortless. I see a lot of girls just run around with the hairstyle that we just started, and I'm like, oh, you're walking around with a set. Because now when I run my fingers through it, it just looks really effortless and really fresh. So just tip upside down and really give it a good shake. You could even use some dry shampoo right now if you need it, just to add some texture. This is looking great, nice texture. And now what we're gonna do is create this beautiful side swept look. What you wanna do is look at the arch of the eyebrow. That's a really good spot to direct the part from. And that gives you like a really big lift on this side, which I love. And now what we're gonna do is create a diagonal part in the back of your head. And I'm just gonna clip this out of the way. And now this is really easy. I'm just gonna do a, a French braid behind the hair. And what this is gonna do is it's gonna give me a home for my bobby pins. And you just wanna keep it nice and tight. And you don't wanna finish the braid off too much. Just kinda get it locked in there. And then I'm just gonna add a bobby pin to the top. I'm gonna add another bobby pin from the bottom. And this crisscrosses, which is gonna lock that in place. Now, what I can do is drop the hair over the braid, so you're not gonna see the braid. And now we've got this really great spot to tuck in a few more bobby pins. So you're not just pinning into your hair, you're pinning into the braid. All right, now just go in the top and just do a nice light tease right here at the base. This just gives you a nice small amount of lift to exaggerate that side swiftness. Now this is supposed to be like cool, beachy, soft, not too Veronica Lake old Hollywood. So I love the texture. I love how it's just really full on this one side. All right, we just did that set really easy with the cone iron, medium hold hairspray. And then don't forget, we have our little braid under here that you can't even see, and it just gave us a perfect spot to put those pins in. And that way you get the side swept. It'll last all night. Let me know what you think in the comments section and thumbs up for more quick and easy hairstyles. And don't forget, you can check out the step-by-step -step guide that I put at glamour.com. It's on the Girls in the Beauty Department blog. And until next time, bye dolls.